Hey everyone, Karen Basket DIYer here. Um, so the last couple of days I've been working on a really cool tumbler. I had seen a similar one and I decided to change it up a little bit. Um, so I've already made one and I posted it in a couple of Facebook groups and I had a couple of requests for tutorials. So I am gonna be showing you how to make this tumbler. It is a sea turtle tumbler. Um, using power wash, alcohol inks, peekaboo method, several different things. Um, but I'm gonna be showing you on a 20 ounce modern curve or 20 ounce curve instead of a 20 ounce skinny. So um, just stay tuned, follow along, and I'll walk you through the steps and show you how I do it. Okay, so on that 20 ounce skinny that I had showed you earlier, I had sanded it and prepped it by painting a uh, layer of matte white finish, the Rust-Oleum two times. But I'm not gonna do that to this one because so much of it ends up getting covered up in the long run anyway. So I am just gonna apply my um, epoxy directly to the stainless steel. I did sand this one, but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it directly to the stainless steel and then move straight into my glitter method. I'm applying a really thin layer of Mr. Nola's glass coat here, but you could also do this with Mod Podge or a quick set epoxy. So I'm gonna be covering the whole thing first of all with this um, Chameleon from Glitter and Grand. This is just a mixture, I call it just a custom beach mix or beach water. And um, every time I do a beach tumbler or anything blues, all the leftovers get dumped into here. So I'm. this will just be like what I dump over the top of that chameleon. So gonna do that now. So um, you saw that I at, ended up adding a fine mix of glitter to the top um, just to fill in all the gaps that the Chunky and my beach water mix didn't cover and that was by using Mermaid which is also by Glitter and Grand. Okay and so next because there's a lot of Chunky glitter in here I'm going to use parchment paper. to um, wrap around it and press it down, press down all the chunky pieces. That way, um, whenever I get the next layer of epoxy on it, it'll just be less maintenance, um, less sanding to do. And you don't wanna press too hard, otherwise it'll bleed through, the epoxy will bleed up through and cause some issues. I guess I should stop that real quick. <laughs> Okay, and so now that that layer of glitter is all cured and dry, I mixed up about 20 milliliters of Mr. Nola's glass coat. Guys, I really do love Mr. Nola's. Um, it just creates such a beautiful finish. Uh, this coat here, I really do wish I had some quick coat, which I just ordered some. Um, it should be in, in the next couple of days, so I'm just having to use the Mr. Nola's, but with this, you just have to really massage it and work the bubbles out, and then it just produces the most amazing, super shiny finish, but unfortunately, this coat here is going to get sanded really well and um, prepped for my vinyl and spray paint. Okay, and so by the way, this is removable vinyl that I'm using here because you want to be able to remove it later. If you use permanent, it is way too difficult to remove, in my opinion. And my favorite vinyl to use is Expressions Vinyl, and I'm gonna drop a link to a coupon code for you in the description below, so be sure to check that out.
Okay, and so now it's time for the artsy fun part. I really love this. Um, I'm gonna be using alcohol inks by Let's Resin. And you get like 18 colors for around 20 bucks off of Amazon. And I have already just pulled out all of the blues, greens, um, turquoise. There are five different colors that I'm gonna be using on here. Just, if you already have alcohol inks, just use whatever you have. Um, I got these quite some time ago and I really do love them. They work really well for me. So um, I also have a little medicine cup full of just, well, not full, just with alcohol in it. It looks blue because I used this on that first tumbler the other day and there was a little bit of leftover alcohol in it. So um, what you're gonna do, you're just gonna take your uh, painted tumbler. You can see I've spray painted that Rust-Oleum two times um, satin finish looks a little glossy, but it's actually a satin finish right over the top of that vinyl. You can see the vinyl turtles there. And so now you just um, take your ink, just start by dripping your ink on. And I dip my brush in my little medicine cup of alcohol. And then just, it starts to just kind of do its own thing. Not a lot of effort here but it's still fun to just kind of get creative with the colors. And I just kind of rotate through my colors. I can put a little or a lot, doesn't really matter. Get some green in here. You know, as you spin it around, it's super dark on one side and lighter in other places. show you here all the different variations. This is something you could even do by putting your cup on your turner if you have a pretty slow turner um, and just dropping the ink on and dragging your paintbrush across it. Um, but then I'm just going to kind of rotate it a little bit while that dries. These tend to dry pretty quickly but look at all those colors. It's so pretty. Lots of turquoise, blues, greens, um, just a lot of pretty colors. So as soon as this dries, I am gonna take it outside. Guys, it's like um, 10.30 at night, so dark outside. But anyways, I'm gonna take it outside and do the power wash method next. Okay, so my bad. I just almost missed a very important step. Well, I think this is very important. Sealing the alcohol inks. I use the clear matte finish Rust-Oleum and I just ran out and did this give it a quick coat to seal those alcohol inks because if water hits those, they're all gonna run off. It's just gonna wash the cup off whenever I do the power wash. So definitely seal before the power wash method. Not gonna remove my turtle vinyl yet. Um, I did that on the first cup, the 20 ounce skinny, the original. I removed my vinyl and then I did the power wash and I got a little bit of overspray on some of my turtles, the glitter part, um, once that was exposed. So I'm gonna do this one a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the vinyl turtles on, do the power wash, um, spray paint that method, you know, and then remove the vinyl after the power wash method. Um, not sure if I'm going to be able to record my power wash because, like I said, it's late at night. Okay, so basically you just want to use your Dawn dish soap power wash and you want to spray over your vinyl turtles. 
and just you know a little bit of overspray and then you're going to use um i like to use the rust-oleum two times and i use lagoon color here first and then you get some water and you pour over that and it will reveal um the turtles but yet you can see there i'm showing you the lagoon spray paint and then i just kind of patted it dry and then i'm doing this again the dawn power wash covering the turtles again but this time i'm going to use white spray paint the rust-oleum two times matte finish white spray paint Okay guys, well it's almost midnight and my husband just went outside with me with flashlights and stuff as you saw and we did the power wash here. So this is just so super cool. I am in love with the power wash technique. Um, okay, so now it's time to peel off my vinyl very carefully. You don't want to scratch any of your alcohol inks or spray paint but anyways I'm gonna just remove all my vinyl to reveal the beautiful sparkles underneath once the epoxy is on here this glitter will all come back to life it looks very dull right now because it has been sanded you know I'm just gonna use I'm just using my little Cricut vinyl hook tool whatever it's called I don't even know to remove all this This is pretty tedious. So um, I'm probably just gonna do a little fast motion for the rest of the removal here. Okay, and so I've got my Mr. Nola's glass coat mixed up here, and I went ahead and just did 20 milliliters, and I'm hoping that I only have to put one coat on here. So with the Mr. Nola's, I've learned that you um, just working it in and massaging it in really well, you know, helps it get into every nook and cranny, and um, gets the bubbles out and then you don't really have to do much with a heat gun later like I know with one of the epoxies I was using previously I had to like really work it with the heat gun a lot but that's one thing I really like about the Mr. Nola's is it's pretty effortless all right and you already see the turtle glitter starting to shine through this cup has been a lot of fun and I hope that um, I've taught you something new and that you're encouraged to try one of these and that you will just go ahead and like and subscribe and watch all my other tutorials while you're here. Um, I don't claim to be a professional. I'm very new to tumblers in fact, but I just really love learning by watching other creators and um, just kind of putting my own spin on some of these techniques and coming up with some fun new stuff. So again, I hope you have enjoyed what you've seen here. Okay, and so I walked away from this cup at 2 a.m. this morning and came back down to find that it is absolutely gorgeous and it will still need one more coat of Mr. Nola's. Um, I did have a few little divots in it, but that's my own fault. Um, that goes back to the 
sanding technique on layer one of the glitter. I really truly should have got a super fine smooth finish on that, but lesson learned. Um, and I hope that you are encouraged to try one of these, step out of your comfort zone, do the power wash, do the peekaboo, um, alcohol inks, just go for it people. And if you do so, please tag me, Karen Basket DIYer, and just let me know how it goes for you. Thank you so very much for watching. And once again, I hope you will like, subscribe, and follow my channel.